Hello students, this is Dr. A. S. Ayyad. I welcome you all for the course on finite element method in civil engineering. Our today's topic is to determine shear functions for four noded rectangular element using Lagrangian's interpolation function. So in the last class we had derived the shape functions for bar element using Lagrange's interpolation function where we have seen that how Lagrange's interpolation function is applicable or applied for the 1D element. Now in this we will see that how Lagrange's interpolation function is applied for 2D element. So very first example for 2D is 4 noded rectangular element. So if you consider one rectangular element in natural coordinate system so we know that again in natural coordinate system we are assuming origin at the center of element so here origin is assumed horizontal coordinate is represented by xi and vertical coordinate is represented by eta okay so xi is positive towards right and xi is equal to negative towards left similarly eta is positive upward and eta is negative downward so using these sign conventions and using the important property of natural coordinate that maximum ordinate of natural coordinate is unity so since this is the first quadrant of the coordinate system the signs for this first quadrant will be plus plus in second quadrant the sign will be minus plus right in third quadrant here like this if you divide it into four quadrants this is third quadrant where signs of coordinate will be minus minus right because this xi is minus and eta is minus and for fourth quadrant sign conventions for ordinate will be xi plus and eta minus so using these signs the coordinates of node number three will be plus one plus one and for node number one using this minus minus sign coordinates will be minus one minus one Similarly, in the second round, it is minus plus, so minus 1 plus 1 and coordinates of node number 2 are plus 1 minus 1 using this plus minus sign, okay, and 0, 0 at the center of element. So, these are the coordinates of four nodes of rectangular element. Now, Lagrange's polynomial, polynomial in two-dimensional element is written like this nk is equal to already in the last lecture we had discussed what is k is equal to k equal to k means the node number for which you are writing the shape function it means when you are writing n1 shape function for node number 1 k will be equal to 1 and when you write suppose any shape function for node number 2 that is n2 so k will be equal to 2 okay then now there will be slight change in the 1d element we have seen that only this ratio was there now in 2d element there is a coordinate or ratio with respect to eta coordinate is also added okay so it is xi minus xi m upon xi k minus xi m it is for xi coordinate into eta minus eta m upon eta k minus eta m it is for eta coordinate okay how to apply this polynomial we will see one by one using the four nodes okay so for example if you want to write down shape function for node number one okay so for this node number one we are writing the shape function it means k is equal to one okay k is equal to one now if you look at the two edges of rectangle which are connecting at node number one okay look at these two edges which are connecting at node number one so on the edge which represent the xi coordinate or horizontal edge the remaining coordinate is node number 2 in this direction remaining coordinate is node number 2 and in vertical direction that is eta direction remaining coordinate is node number 4 please understand okay in this eta direction remaining node is 4 and in xi direction remaining node is 2 so here k equal to 1 and m will take as a m equal to 2 and m is equal to 4 1 by 1 okay m equal to 2 and m equal to 4 please understand why m equal to 2 and 4 again since we are writing the shape function for node number 1 k is equal to 1 here right and now if you look at 
the horizontal edge which are which connecting the node number 1 this edge okay this connector node number 1 so in this direction remaining node is node number 2 and the second edge which connect the node number 1 is vertical edge this edge so in this direction remaining node is 4 that's why m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 4 right so th taking these values of m and k equal to 1 we will apply the lagrange's polynomial first so how it is written please see so first ratio is for the xi coordinate right so xi minus xi minus so in xi direction remaining node is 2 xi direction remaining node is 2 so that's why it is xi minus xi2 upon xi1 minus xi2 so this is m equal to 2 remaining node in xi direction okay and this is k k equal to 1 so xi minus xi2 upon xi1 minus xi2 multiply by now if you look at the eta ratio of eta eta minus now in eta direction the remaining node is 4 so this m is equal to 4 for eta ratio okay we are taking m equal to 2 for xi ratio and m equal to 4 for eta ratio because remaining node in xi direction is node number 2 and remaining node in eta direction is node number 4 so eta minus eta 4 upon eta 1 minus eta 4 okay so this is xi 1 and eta 1 because we are writing for node number 1 that is n1 and this is remaining node 2 in xi direction and remaining node is 4 in eta direction okay so now if you use the coordinates xi 2 xi 2 means what xi coordinate of node number 2 So what is xi coordinate of node number two is? It is plus one. Xi coordinate of node number two is plus one. So put here plus one, right? Then what is xi one? Xi one represents xi coordinates of node number one, which is equal to minus one. So put here minus one, right? Now similarly in the second ratio, this is eta four. Eta four represent eta coordinate of node number four, that is plus one. And this represent eta one means eta coordinate of node number one, which is equal to again minus one, right? So if you substitute all these values here, and if you simplify, you will get xi minus one and minus one minus one into eta minus one minus one minus one, right? So minus one minus one is a minus two. This minus one minus one again minus two minus two into minus two it is a plus four, right? Now numerator is xi minus one eta minus one. So if you write down this xi minus one as a one minus xi taking minus sign outside, and similarly if you write down this eta minus one as a minus one minus eta. Okay. So because of this twice you are taking minus sign outside, it becomes again plus. So this can be written as a one minus xi and one minus eta. Okay. This is n one shape function at node number one. Okay, please understand again. When you write down shape function for node number one in xi direction, remaining node is two, so m equal to two and k equal to one. When you write down the ratio of xi coordinate, okay. And now in eta direction, remaining node is four, so m is equal to four and k equal to one. When you write down for eta ratio here, right? Then, if you substitute all these coordinates of xi one, xi two, and eta one, eta four, you will get this first shape function one minus xi one minus eta upon four. Similarly, now you can write down shape function for node number two. Now, if you are writing shape function for node number two, k is equal to two. Okay. Now, which two edges connect the node number two? This horizontal edge in this direction and this vertical edge. Right. So remaining node in xi direction will be one. So m equal to one when you write down the xi ratio. Okay, here xi minus xi one upon xi two minus xi one. So m equal to one here and k equal to two, right? And in vertical direction, this edge is this one. So remaining node is node number three. So m equal to three for 
this so m equal to 3 means here m equal to 3 and again k is equal to 2 so k n2 is eta 2 here right so if you substitute again coordinates like previous one xi1 is equal to what xi coordinate of node number 1 it is minus 1 xi2 represent xi coordinate of node number 2 it is plus 1 eta3 represent eta coordinate of node number 3 it is plus 1 and eta2 represent eta coordinate of node number 2 it is minus 1 so if you substitute all these values here and if you simplify this 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 it will become minus 4 it will become minus 4 this is 1 plus xi or xi plus 1 you can write down either way it is 1 plus xi and now eta minus 1 if you take minus sign common from this you can write down 1 minus eta and this minus and this minus will cancel so the answer is 1 plus xi 1 minus eta upon 4 shear function for node number 2 similarly shear function for node number 3 now for node number 3 if you look at which two edges are connected at node number 3 this horizontal edge and this vertical edge so remaining node in xi direction will be 4 in xi direction will be 4 so m equal to 4 in xi direction right and k equal to 3 k equal to 3 so for xi direction m is equal to 4 and k equal to 3 similarly in eta direction if you move vertically downward now here eta direction remaining node is 2 so m is equal to 2 and k equal to 3 as it is so m equal to means eta equal to 2 here eta 2 eta 2 and k equal to 3 means eta 3 ok so again if you substitute the coordinates if you substitute the coordinates of xi 4 xi coordinate of node number 4 it is minus 1 then xi 3 means xi coordinate of node number 3 it is plus 1 eta 2 means eta coordinate of node, node number 2 it is minus 1 and eta 3 eta coordinate of node number 3 it is plus 1 if you substitute all this you will get the answer 1 plus xi 1 plus eta upon 4 ok and then last shape functions for node number 4 if you look at the node number 4 now which two edges are connected at 4 this horizontal edge representing the xi coordinate and this vertical edge representing the eta coordinate so k equal to 4 and for xi coordinate m is equal to 3 and for eta coordinate m is equal to 1 ok so xi equal to for m equal to 3 for xi ratio so for node number 4 xi equal to 3 here and for eta ratio this is eta 1 because remaining node is m1 right then since we are considering node number 4 here there will be xi 4 and eta 4 if you put all the coordinates here from the xi 3 xi 4 eta 1 and eta 4 you will get the answer if you solve this 1 minus xi 1 plus eta upon 4 so these are the four shape functions of four noded rectangular element we can summarize these four shape functions like this this is shape function for one now if you look at this i will tell you the small trick to remember these shape functions it's very simple see you if you look at we are writing for n1 okay we are writing for node number one what are the signs for node number one coordinate sign it is minus 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 one minus one means minus minus and that's why here 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus xi 1 minus eta upon 4 because of this minus 1 minus 1 take here minus xi and minus eta so 1 minus xi 1 minus eta upon 4 so if you look at the node number 2 what is sign here xi is plus and eta is minus so we can take 1 plus xi and 1 minus eta you know, 1 minus xi 1 minus eta upon 4 in node number 3 both are plus and that's why it is 1 plus xi 1 plus eta upon 4 in node number 4 xi is minus and eta is plus so that ratio will be 1 minus xi and 1 plus eta upon 4 right using this logic using this logic 
normally shape functions for 400 rectangle elements are given by this generalized formula generalized formula where if you put xi coordinate and eta coordinate of that particular node for which you are writing shape function you will get directly shape function value for example if you are writing for n1 k equal to 1 so 1 plus xi and xi k means xi coordinate of node number 1 it is minus 1 so it will be 1 minus xi and then 1 plus eta into eta k eta k is equal to minus so it is minus eta divided by 4 so both will be minus minus because of xi k and eta k which are the coordinates of node number 1 ok because of this minus minus this is minus minus this plus minus so it is plus minus then plus plus so it is plus and plus and because of this minus plus it will be minus and this is plus so this is the generalized equation by which you can find out the shape function for four noted rectangular element okay just put the value of xi and eta coordinate of that node for which you want to write down the shape function okay so this is shape functions for four noted rectangular element using lagrange's interpolation function okay in the next class we will derive the shape functions for nine noted rectangular element using lagrange's interpolation function okay thank you thank you very much